Now going over to the business blunder of the day, you have Honda to recall about 300,000 vehicles due to a seatbelt issue. However, the Honda Civic is still safe. And that being said, I can't recommend getting a Civic with a stick shift. As all stick shifts, all vehicles should have them by default. This is one of the most exhilarating vehicles I've ever had. A little Honda Civic, Civic uh, SI. They only come with a stick shift. I highly, I really appreciate Honda doing that for the enthusiast community. Although, if it's up to me, it'd be everyone by default. But nevertheless, going back to the specific article comes from, let me see here, Oliver Pobe over at en.as.com. They noted that it is due to faulty seat belts. Let me see here. Scrolling down really quick. They know that this is specifically going to cover about 300,000 vehicles in the United States due to the faulty seat belts. Some front seat belts in 2023 and 2024 Accords and HRVs are known to be affected at this time. The problem comes from a defective rivet that prevents occupants from jerking forwards in a crash. Now, thankfully, the upside of the situation, no deaths or injury has have been reported yet. Let's see here. They also know that the company is also dealing with another quarter of a million recall from just last week due to an engine issue. But again, thankfully, knock on wood, that issue also did not affect the Honda Civic. Now, they also led on to say that Honda has been dealing with about 16 car recalls this year, though it is less than many of the other competitors, with, of course, the iconic Ford Motor Company being at the top. So this is from someone on Twitter by the name of Whole Mars Catalog. And they say this is the list of comp top 10, 12 companies actually with the most recalls according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Association for the first half of 2023. So this is just half a year. Ford had 31 recalls. Stellantis, which is the parent company behind Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, and a myriad of Italian companies, they had 26 recalls. BMW had 18 recalls. Forest River had 18 recalls. Navistar had 17 recalls. Mercedes-Benz had 14 recalls. Nissan had 14 recalls. Daimler Trucks had 13 recalls, Jaguar had 13 recalls, Jayco had 13 recalls, Honda had 13 recalls, and Volkswagen coming in at 11 recalls. Which again, I'm not uh, giving financial advice or buying advice, but a Porsche is pretty darn reliable in general. And like all good sports cars, or perhaps the last remaining true sports car, or yeah, I'd say a little bit better than, a, well, not quite a hypercar, let's get the GT3 RS, but nevertheless, and I, actually, GT3, one of them doesn't even come with a stick shift. But nevertheless, Porsche overall is very de much dedicated to the stick shift, which is what every car should be by default and the best fun you could ever have driving. And it looks like they are in last place in the number of recalls, which is a good thing. Now, the issue with Honda is their whole brand is reliability. I mean, especially no one's going to compare a Porsche to a Honda, unless they're perhaps copiously inebriated. But it's an instance where Honda's known for reliability. You're not going to get the most horsepower out of a little Honda. You're not going to be even breaking records on the lap. Or when you go racing, you're not going to be in first place unless you are a really good driver and the other drivers are not so good. So it's one of those instances where you're paying for reliability. You know this car is supposed to last a million miles in a quarter of a century. My family still drives a 2001 Honda Accord. It still runs. It's that durable partially because it's a good old-fashioned internal combustion engine and Japanese engineering. So it'll be interesting to see what this is to the brand where Honda's whole brand, first and foremost, is reliability. And these recalls are just knocking away at that reputation. Because as I mentioned a couple minutes ago, this is not the first recall they've had this year. They've had several. And again, there's a silver lining with this particular situation. No one's passed away from it. And no one's been injured from it. So that's great. But, I mean... This is ridiculous. This is from a defective rivet. Again, were the machines not calibrated properly? Did they not test it when, the, when it was leaving the assembly line? Again, it just seems like the quality control is just not where it used to be. And that's like a lot of these automotive companies, but with Honda especially, that's whole, their whole brand is reliability. Does that, so to have a brand whose whole thing is reliability, to have them have yet another recall, that's gotta be the business blunder of the day. Again, thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in today. We're trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of December. So if you click that button, I greatly appreciate it. Also, if you could leave a comment, that's a great way to give me some feedback and how I could improve the channel or just improve my own speaking abilities or lack thereof. Any feedback is greatly appreciated because I do want to improve the quality of the show. Also, and lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.